Okay, so second, two in a row. Domination in the second one. Uh, pretty good in the first one, right? Yeah. Uh, getting on a, is this your first world team? Uh, no, I made a junior world team two years ago, 2016. So junior world team, but yeah. this is your U23. Yeah, first time U23. Actually, I didn't plan on uh, coming here at all. I actually hate wrestling here. I mean, this is not a very fun place to wrestle compared to like the US Open and Vegas. But, um, I plan to make a senior world team, you know, this past couple of weeks. We've got a kid saying in the finals right now, Brian Deacon, who I lost one match of freestyle to, and it was just happened to be that match where we got him to final X. So um, I thought I, be I belong in the senior circuit, so U23 is the next best thing I could do. So I kind of figured I'm training anyways, might as well show up. And uh, I had two points scored on me the entire day, I think. Push outs, maybe. And I don't agree. It's not bad. How long ago did you make the decision to come here? Uh, about a week ago. Yeah. I, I was kind of pure pressure, too. The coaches, yeah, you should go to U23s. I'm like, coach, everyone is high in here. I got laying on the ground. Like, you know, Vegas is sweet. You know, I, uh, even the world team trials are nice in North Carolina. But again, it's a wrestling mat, so it's all the same, you know. So if uh, Deacon decides to challenge you because he's sitting in final X, he has to get right here to challenge the spot. Did you welcome that challenge? I would love to wrestle right now. I'm pretty sure I have a winning record against him anyways. Um, he, he's a great competitor. I hope he does make a senior world team this year. Um, he really is a great competitor. And, you know, I'm envious he is a few more years in college. But, uh, again, I feel comfortable where I'm at. You know, I wrestle full-time now, um, and I'm just now starting to get in the rhythm of my freestyle career. So I've been having to push it back with college, but I'm, I'm all in right now. So. How does it feel to be able to do that for your job? It's, it's you know what's crazy is I put on um, my Facebook status two years ago saying, you know, I'm wrestling this summer, having a great time, you know, like life's so great. And then I saw the memory a couple days ago, and I'm like, whoa. I'm still doing that, but now I'm getting paid for it, you know, and I'm like, this is like living the dream, but still living the dream. It's like, I haven't stopped living the dream, so, um, I mean, life's great right now. I love everything Michigan, what we have to offer there, um, my coaches, you know, it's, life's great everywhere around. How far is Canton from Ann Arbor? Um, you know, I actually had to move back from Ann Arbor to my parents' house because I have to find a place to live right now, my lease end, but it's only 20 minutes, so this past week I was commuting to practice, um, you know, it was kind of like, I kind of just winged us and let's go make a U23 team, and uh, it works, so it's, it's nice to visit my parents, you know, they are my biggest supporters, and I can't, I can't think of the whole family. It's in their basement, that'll make this even better. Do you live in your parents' basement right no, now? No, I've got my room, I, you know, I, I do my chores around the house, so they let me stay, you know. <laughs> Eat a lot of their food. They don't like that, but I mean, 16, it's, all, it's all good. 16. How long for your back, like living in Ann Arbor? As soon as possible. I'm just trying to find. I got to have uh, some uh, like roommates. I just have to find a house. So um, as soon, soon. It's, it's not gonna get away my training. I'll make sure I'm, I'm ready to go whatever I have to be. So. Is there a better place in Ann Arbor, Michigan, to wrestle? Uh, I don't. I can't think of one. Then give me a list, and I'll go through and cr cross them all off. Probably won't. You know, I, mean, I love it. It has everything I need. It's got. It's beautiful. You know, the people there are great. Um, my training partners, my coaches, um, the whole staff at Ann Arbor. It's just. It's. It's crazy. Actually, two weeks from now, we got a group of guys from Ann Arbor going to Belarus for a training camp. Like, what other schools are doing that? You know. So that's that's a really great exposure. So. Yeah. You present a huge problem stylistically for the foreigners. Um, you're going to pick them up and spike them. Yeah. They're going to want to try and get you into a hip to hip, you know, yeah, a seatbelt yeah. position. Yeah. You power through a lot of things. Is yeah. there any doubt in your mind you can't win a gold medal? No doubt in my mind. Actually, you know, um, I, I was saying to you, um, two years ago I made a junior world team. I went one and one. Um, I didn't get pulled back in, and the kid did get pulled back in, the kid ran through for the third. Um, so I left that tournament with like so much more to give. You know, that's what really, really burned me out. Um, so I'm not, I'm not gonna let that happen this time. You know, I've, I see the guys um, ahead of me, and I don't think anyone I can't beat with the guys in my room. Like, I got Sergey Belagazov, Josh Shrella, you know, Sean Berman. These are some of the best wrestlers ever to come to the uh, U.S. and to the world. You know, so um, I think the, I mean the sky's the limit. You got guys that are you know, Mitic and yeah, Mitic, come on, and the, the, the Amin brothers. You know, yeah, there's such a foreign. Um, feel in that room because of yeah. the connections to other countries. How much does that help you? Yeah, it's great. You know, sir, uh, I mean, um, well, Miles and Malik, they're both, I mean, a little bit polar opposites when it comes to wrestling, but they're both really, they are technicians when it comes to sport. I'm, I'm over brute. You know, Savon Mijic is probably the best technician on, that I know on, on my team, you know, so um, I think these guys are all going to win, you know, gold medals throughout their careers. It's just a matter of are we going to be standing next to each other, you know, uh, cheering each other on in the corner at the same tournament, you know. That's what I hope. I hope. So, yeah. Good luck, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. Congratulations.